a tan. So if you watch the channel and you went to the school here, do you guys remember this area? What was this area for? Huh? Put it down in the comments below. So right behind me is the still going. Oh, I don't want to say old. It is a school of justice here at the Miami Dade College. So just across the parking lot, let's see if I can, it's back there like a blue little building. That's the brand new facility that they have, state of the art. And today is the inaugural day. They're gonna do a ribbon cutting ceremony. They're gonna have all kinds of guest speakers out there, all different kind of exhibits. And they're gonna show each and every room that's in there and what this building is about. So, as we say goodbye to the old school of justice where your boy went 17 years ago, BLE 253, make some noise. <laughs> Brad, what's so funny? <laughs> We're gonna head on over to the brand new facility here at the Miami Dade College. guys behind me that's the fire academy and that's their fire truck just like the firefighters they can't let us have our day they can't just let us have our day My bad guys, I think we missed it. <laughs> I ran over here. All right, so they just had the ribbon cutting part and now they're gonna start the tour where they're gonna tour the inside of the facility, gonna check out the different things that they have. I even hear that they have some kind of repelling system where you can repel from like ropes. Uh, this place is like, uh, I guess, a Disneyland for police academies. Let's go take a look. Is this like Disneyland? Yes, sir. Disneyland? Yes, sir. What's going on, Jay? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you explain a little bit about this wizardry that you have right here? All right, so this is Inveris Training Solutions next system that's out there. It's called the FATS AR system. AR stands for Augmented Reality. What happens is we take these headsets right here that you can actually see through them just like real glasses. We can scan any environment that you have, a school, a headquarters, any training building. The thing is now you don't have to use any type of uh, propellants, any type of rounds, or even role players. Everything is digital. Once we scan it, you can actually move and shoot through a real environment where you're shooting virtual suspects and are protecting virtual innocent uh, hostages. All of our weapon systems have the same fit, form, and function of a live firearm. So students actually have to load. They actually have to make ready take the weapon off safe in order for it to fire. The weapons all have recoil. When, it's, when it finishes shooting, the weapon systems will lock back to the rear, forcing the student to drop the magazine and actually perform reloads and tactically move. The bigger part of our systems is not only can you move through a real physical environment and use your team tactics to take care of an active shooter situation or some type of immediate threat, we can also watch a live after action review. Meaning, instead of trying to recollect 
things from memory, we can actually just hit replay and you will see your live digital avatars and you can walk through it with an instructor seeing it and we can see things that you did good and or bad and we can correct ourselves. So then that second run is much cleaner, much better and we see a huge performance increase over traditional methods. That's all in all. Love it. Can I give that thing a go? Let's do it. All right, let's rock and roll, guys. Sir, they're over there? Got it. <laughs> come on, come on. Come, come to me, come to me. All right, so I see you coming around the building. Correct. Boom, boom. I actually do a first person right here. You're pie and you're coming around. So that blue is your eye focus. I'm actually tracking your eyes. Woo, you almost got that kid's hands, but I think you shot good. But it teaches you, you know, shot discrimination. Correct. As far as, hey, if there's some innocent folks, I need to make sure I'm taking an actual good shot, not just going in a room and, and blowing away. Understanding, especially if you're doing an active shooter response right. or any situation like that, you need to understand like, hey, there's kids, there's teachers in here. I can't, you know, I need to make sure what I'm shooting at and my target and what lies beyond as well. All right. Am I ready for the SWAT team? Almost, almost. <laughs> a couple more runs and you'll be ready to go. Most importantly, what's gonna be held in here for the Academy is gonna be that graduation. So they're also gonna have the graduations in here. Let's continue the tour. Senior class? Oh, it just became senior class? All right. Looking good, looking good. The new senior class. What BLE is this? 388, 388, 388, sir. 388. Nice to meet you, Nick. Nice to meet you, too. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Love your videos. Thank you, thank you. Watch you as a kid. Thank you, sir. Watch you as a kid makes you feel old. So, they have some good music playing throughout the, throughout the hallways, but they have two defensive tactic rooms, as you guys saw. Uh, there was one uh, taser demonstration, the other one you actually had a full class that was in there. So you can see the size of the room when you have all the students in there. All right, let's continue the tour. Perez, what is your malfunction? Front leaning wrist position, and up, and up, and up. notice this in the hallways by the classrooms cameras that means DIs are gonna make them pay with the eye in the sky they're gonna see everything Me, they have this railing system that goes all around the shoe house so the instructors can tell you what you're doing, some foot placement to run it again. So it's like a live play by play. Hey, run it again, team, good job! Or hey, let's do it this way. And they can teach from up top and get that bird's eye view. Now, I can say with 100% certainty that they do not teach rappelling in the police academy but however this building is going to be utilized for training so that's in-service training maybe a SWAT school that comes through here and then they can use these ropes to teach uh, repelling so that's why they have these set up here All right. 
Thanks for the honorable Nick Off Dory. Thank you. You may be seated. You want the truth? You can handle the truth. Ooh, yeah. Why do I sound like Macho Man? I'll have order in my court. So as you can see, they have a full working mock courtroom all the way down to the mics working, places where people can observe here. You have the jury's box there over here, maybe where the stenographers sit to take notes. Then you have with the defense and the prosecution on this side, it looks legit like a real courtroom. Now, even though this is a mock courtroom, I did kind of feel some type of way sitting up here. That's how real this thing felt. And then look, they even have right here, this little machine where if you want to introduce evidence and you put it there, I'm sure it'll project onto all these screens that are here around the room. So right off the courtroom is the Sally port. It's like a holding cell. Now, because this is the School of Justice for Miami-Dade County, they also have corrections built into this. So there's a School of Justice for law enforcement, and then there's also a branch for corrections. And then you're working in corrections, obviously you're working in the jails and the penitentiaries. So here is a mock area. So you have a booking area where you can book your subjects when they come in. So you'll take their fingerprints, you'll check them, you'll pat them down to make sure they're not introducing any contraband into the jail. And then they're gonna go into the holding cell. And that holding cell is pretty legit. They have it all the way down to a toilet, a working toilet. And why they use that? Well, it's supposed to be mock. And in real life, you're gonna be working where there's a working toilet. And you need to know the components of that in case somebody does bring in some kind of contraband and you gotta know where to look for the contraband in there. So you might have an inmate go in there, try to stuff something either in the toilet or maybe one of the components behind the toilet. So you saw the panels off. So it's a pretty detailed area for training. This subject will react to the ACD, and firearm. Right behind me is the virtual simulation room. And what that is, is there's some screens there that you can interact with. You can actually use your own firearm. So they have one side up set up for scenarios where the students are gonna be able to go through the scenarios, interact with the people on the screen. And then according to how they respond, then the subjects are gonna to respond to them. So if they tell them, hey, come over here, then you might have the subject walk towards you. Hey, drop that skateboard. You might have the subject drop the skateboard. On the other side, they have what's called the virtual range, and that's where they get these new recruits to start manipulating their firearm, taking it out of the holster, and seeing if there's any deficiencies uh, with a real live firearm. Now, there's a little catch to it. It's not live because they actually take out the barrel and they insert some of their own um, barrels in there, so it would only shoot like CO2 compressed air, so you get the feel of the slide going back and forth. However, um, there's no actual projectile coming out of the firearm. So you can see if there's any deficiencies, you can work on things, maybe holster draws, things like that here, but you could do it in a safe manner. And that's that, that's the end of the tour of the new Miami-Dade College. Ooh, it's getting bright out here, I'm gonna go this way. What's up guys? It's the end of the tour of the new Miami-Dade College School of Justice. So if you guys are interested in checking out more and learning more about the School of Justice here, go ahead and click on this link. Uh, almost makes me feel like I wanna go back to the police academy. Okay, car 632, test one run, starting mileage uh, 40489. Oh my god. <laughs> but not really. Guys, make sure you check out the rest of the content on the channel. We have new vlogs coming up, new police car episodes coming up, and we have a podcast going on on Nick Off Duty Presents. So with that being said, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, well, then I'll see you. What BLE are you guys? 399. 399. Shout out to 399. 399. Looking real fine. 390. 390. Okay, my bad. Let's, we're going to cut that part out. Shots fired. What are we doing? Where's your tourniquet?
to see. Nope, they're not double timing. Gonna have to talk. Oh. Gonna have to talk. <laughs> gonna put it on the vlog. That's oh, it. <laughs> That's it. We're putting it on the vlog. <laughs> Achoa, they're coming after you. Oh my God. <laughs> you saw me getting them. How you doing? What's up? Nice to meet you, man. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you, bro. You just made the vlog. What are you doing? Okay, how you feeling? Uh, hurting a little bit, but you know, <laughs> one step closer. What's the pat? The physical agility test. Physical agility test. All right. Good to see you, bro. Same. Good luck. Good luck with Thank everything. You so much, Nick. All right, later. Thank you. You just made the vlog. <laughs>